What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. So it's been a second since I've done an install tutorial of any emulator and to be honest, a lot of things have changed even since the beginning of when I did this one. Even I think like two, three months ago, I did one of these on how to install a PlayStation 1 emulator on any device running iOS 12, 11, 13, even the newest 13.2. This method is still going to be working even like months and months from now, so I should be good for a while. But we've seen two things happen. One, we've seen the alt store happen, which is super cool. There's a method on how to install PlayStation 1 emulator that way, which will not get revoked, which is awesome. If you want that, if you want to know how to do that, the first link down in the description will take you to a video on how to install that but i think you have to pay for the playstation 1 emulator but i'm not exactly too sure but the second way to do it is through the tweak box but for some reason every time i try to do it through tweak box tweak box i get a weird issue i don't really know how to fix it so i have to show you a different way to do it so if you want to go through the tweak box method maybe it'll work for you for me it didn't work the second link down in the description will take you to a video on how to install it that way through tweak box but i have to show you a different way now which is still kind of similar you're still going to get your same results but it's just a little weirder but you still don't need a computer ever since i was 13 you don't need a computer because through the files app we can create our own folders and all everything like that so in order to install the playstation 1 emulator all you need is any device running ios 13 or older or newer it doesn't really matter the first thing you want to do is you want to go to not flawlessphone.com aka the greatest website in the world you want to go to ignition.fun that is the website it's kind of a strange website name but there it is right there ignition.fun once you're here, you just want to click Use Now Web, or you can go download it if you want to. I wouldn't really recommend doing it if you don't want to, but for me, I go ahead and click that. You want to click, oh my god, Princess Harry, get out of my face. You want to go and click that clipboard icon right here. Then once you're here, you want to go and click Emulators, which is right there. You want to go ahead and scroll all the way down until you see Provenance, which is the emulator that we're going to be using. I've seen EPSXC, I think that's one as well, but for this method, we're going to be using Provenance. So go ahead and click that. Go ahead and click Get Up There. Go ahead and click Install. And then it'll start installing on the front pages. You can see it'll go through there. Now, once I did it through Tweakbox, it wasn't working. I wasn't too sure what was going on, but this method should work. And as soon as it's installed, we should be good to go. As you can see, it's installed. Don't open it yet. What you want to do is you want to go to Settings. You want to scroll all the way down to General. Scroll all the way down to Profiles and Device Management. And they actually made this name much bigger than what it was before. You want to go ahead and just click on it and trust it. And once that is trusted, you'll be able to see that you can go ahead and open it. Now this is really awesome. This is like you're almost like halfway there pretty much. This is usually the hardest part because a lot of it doesn't even have anything to do with you or your phone. It just depends if they have a server running this specific app and whether it's still signed or not. So in this case, we're perfectly fine. So now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click the third or fourth link down in the description. It'll take you to a link on how to download the BIOS files for these. Okay, the battery on my camera died, but it'll take you to a site like this. All you want to do here is just go ahead and click download, and it'll go ahead and start downloading the specific BIOS files that you need. Now, this is important because you will not be able to install or even run any games on this emulator until you have those BIOS files. So, as you can see, you want to go ahead and you can click open in provenance if you want, but I don't really think that does what we want it to. All you want to do at this point, you don't have to extract it or anything like that. All you want to do is go ahead and open provenance. You want to click the plus button right here. You want to click on cloud and local files, whatever. And what you want to do is you want to find that bias folder unzip that you just downloaded. So as you can see, this is the folder right here. All you want to do is go ahead and click it. Now I already imported them and you'll once you get this extraction complete, you'll be set. So right there, you don't even have to mess with anything. Now this next part, sorry, it was kind of blurry. I'm not going to be able to really show you how to download the ROMs because again, like I've always stated, I don't want to you know get this channel taken down or anything, but that's the easiest part ever. Downloading the ROM is the easiest thing. Once you have this set up and the bias already loaded, the ROMs is the easiest part. Again, download them safely, download them legally, only download the ROMs that you own. I have to legally say that. But once you have those ROMs on your iPhone, that's literally the easiest part ever, I can almost tell you. All you want to do is click that plus button right there. Once you click on click the plus button, you want to click that cloud and local files, and you'll get back to your original file browser thing. All you want to do is find the ROM that you just downloaded. Now, it can be a bin file, it can be an ISO, it can be whatever ROM. It can even be, I think, in a zipped file, but I usually almost always run into problems. Now, in my specific one, I unzipped it. I clicked on the bin file right here. So what you want to do is once you have that folder, you just want to go ahead and click on the file and you'll go ahead and see that it'll start extracting. Now, I have run into some problems here and there. As you can see, it's, uh, it just gets stuck on extracting. So what you want to do is you want to kind of do it again. You want to click on the next file. It, maybe it'll accept it, maybe it won't. So for some reason, this one accepted it. Now what I do is click plus again, cloud and local files, and click on it again. And sometimes it'll pump through. And as you can see, it did this time. And once you get this little, oops, there was a conflict, whatever, all you want to do is go ahead and click, let's go fix it. You want to go ahead and click on the game. You want to go ahead and click on PlayStation. And you'll go ahead and see no conflicts, click on done. And you can see it's imported right there for you to play. So this is really it. It's the easiest thing ever. 
This method is a lot easier even from last time because before we had to download all those SCPH files, whatever those BIOS is, and then put them in through the files and go through all those things. But this way is much easier. And then you can go ahead and click and play it and go through all that stuff. But like I said, this is much easier than the last time we had to go through. Before we had to go click on provenance and go through like 15 different things in order to get it fixed. But this time, all we have to do is go download the BIOS files download your ROM and play it through this little provenance thing. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it'll mean so much if you guys could hit that. If you guys do run into any problems or anything, let me know in the comment section below. If I don't answer your question, which I probably won't, somebody else will. So there's always like a bunch of people who are troubleshooting things in the comment section. So make sure to hit that subscribe button if this tutorial helped you out at all. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.